So welcome to Bunny's Designs. Uh, this is a live stream with live peoples all having a matter in chat. I'm playing in, in Mythomorphia and uh, I'd forgotten that just how wonderful my peerless watercolours were. And I bought them quite a few years ago and just cut one section off and stuck it in my little book of watercolours. And I have used them quite a lot, but the last couple of days I've used them exclusively in their own right rather than mixing mixing them up with other colors and other uh, and other pages and so I thought um, I'd have a bit of a play so this is part two um, because they're very vibrant so I thought they'd do wonderful on this back page now it's a little bit shiny but as you can see they've tried really well and they're wonderful colours. So this is part two and thank you for joining me on this a live stream which is recorded for Ustream.tv and also for YouTube for people to watch at their leisure and thank you all the YouTubers for watching and making comments. If there's anything you'd like to see or anything that you'd like to change please make a comment. I do try to get back to everybody as soon as possible. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little bit more uh, of what I'm doing, but I'd like to be able to see how much tiny space I'm using. So I'll, I'll zoom in and then hope the camera behaves itself. And get some lettering on here. That looks okay. So I'm working around the yellow flames. I'm doing all the yellow flames first because I always find. So I'm just going to make a bit of room so I can move the book about. I always find it's it's easier to follow the flames around because on this particular page, as I found out when I did this middle uh, middle page, which is it, it, which is the dragon, I found that there's there's some clouds and there's also some water as well. There's the sea uh, swells. And so I can never find out if it's a swirl or if it's a flame. So what I've kind of done is followed all the way around to make sure that these flames are actually attached to the dragon. And if they weren't attached, I've left them. Now that could be a bit of flame flowing around or it could be a splash. I haven't decided yet. But so until I decide, I've actually left it. And this one is in gouache. So I wonder how vi more vibrant these are going to be. So... And of course, this, this dragon is in reverse, which is going to completely confuse me as well. <laughs> oh no, it isn't. It's a different dragon. No, it isn't. Yes, we've lost his tail. His tail's not on there. And right, that's confused me. He doesn't have a tail. That's confused me. It didn't take much to confuse me. It doesn't have a tail. So it's not an exact copy, but it's very similar. So there must be more. Oh yes, because it's not it's not a double page, it's it's a page and a bit is the back cover. So it's a page and a bit, so there's obviously that bit missing, which is the tail. So that's 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 sorted that confusion out. So it doesn't take much. Um, so we've got a flame here. So what I'm doing is just I've got my Derwent number one, which is the smallest brush. Sorry. And it's the smallest brush, it, it takes the least amount of water. It releases the least amount of water. That's what I wanted to say. Oh, 
Oh yes, Penny, they are. Yes, I, I must admit, I'll have to have a look. We were having a look on the Peerless website to find out whether to get them like this originally. Or they've now done a, a full pack as well um, in, in a travel pack. So that would be quite interesting. But because they're in my little book of colours, I'm, I'm quite happy to keep them in my little book of colours, I have to say. But I, I would like, they, they do come in bottles. So we we're discussing about the, the, the watercolours, uh, instead of being on a card, actually are in little ounce but I think they're in ounce bottles. So really don't need very much. No, Alfie, sit down. Oh, good boy. I've got a little man un under the desk. So I'm just putting <clears throat> very vibrant. So I probably will be going over where I want some of that red and I'm hoping it's going to make an orange. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So whereas before no Alfie, sit down. Whereas before I kind of um let me see if I can move that up a bit. Whereas the last time I coloured this oopsie. And I'm so sorry, I've forgotten what I was saying. Um, to apologise. You shouldn't make videos when you've got flu. These, but they're so rich in colour. Really rich in colour. And again, I want to see you know, there is the type. What did I do there? I lost my screen. Shush, 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 shush. Mythomorphia melody. Mythomorph is the dragon. It's the tiniest, the tiniest little bit here is going to give so much colour. And I think that's a wave. Oh, this is a flame. Look, we've missed a flame here. Um. And there's going to be a lot of colour on this brush. And as long as you don't kind of bend it too much, I've found that's the best way to keep the colour. To, to, if you want to release water, you bend the brush. If you want to keep it as dry as possible, just kind of um, st stroke the, 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 the end so you're not mini stimulating that bit there. Because when you do this, you're going to let all the water come out. Well, we don't want that. So you have to kind of just be very careful and use the end of the paintbrush rather than, you know, kind of mash it about. Sorry, the big dog is having a moment. I'll throw something at her in a minute. There we go. She's gone away now. Only two seconds. It's that time. Sorry about that, guys. Oh. Yeah, she's obviously... Uh, she has a moment. Oh, that's the, the lurcher. That was the lurcher jumping about. 
and she's a big girl to be jumping about. Yeah, she's the big girl, and when she starts jumping about, things get <laughs> things fly everywhere. She's a bit of a big girl to be doing that. So, so I just thought I'd play and do this, and. I must have the noisiest kettle on the planet, so apologies. There's something about pressing that little button that says record. <laughs> so, I like the fact it's really quick. Um, I don't have to mix things that even with the watercolors and I love them you've still got to kind of get them a bit wetter whereas these kind of the minute you're touching them with a damp brush they're away uh, and again I really like that it's really easy oopsie I've got a claw there I've got to be a bit careful because we have a claw um, I think that's a flame I think I think it's a flame that now if it's a claw I'll have to make it dark if it's wrong it's because it's backwards not expecting it to be this way around so perhaps I should have done the other one first and again those two are flames because they're attached if they're not attached like this one I'm actually leaving them because I might do it as a as a splash of water. I might do it as the sea. Uh, got to decide yet. But I'm hoping that I'm going to get the most gorgeous orange when I go over these. Yeah, well, Gigi is a lurcher. She's a potty lurcher. Definitely potty. She's the one that lives on the sofa. She took over this sofa and she kind of just... She lives in the sofa. <laughs> now, I wonder if that's... Oh, that's a flame because that's coming off there. So I'm going to follow his body around and then going to come back to his head. So... I guess this is a flame. So I'm going to go under here. If I remember right, there's quite a lot going on under here because he's got his leg. Amy. Amy. What? Try to pick up the nest on me. I threw them at pickles. I thought you had that. Yeah, but I look like. Another one, please. Thank you. <laughs> I threw quite a few uh, pamphlets at her and they scattered. <laughs> so my daughter's had to. She's still poorly with the flu, bless her. Right, right. Oh, we've got another flame here. We think that's going to be a fire. So you don't want to do all of it yellow, but. Um, I want a nice transition from dark red to yellow, so to orange to yellow, so hopefully 
the only place I don't want to put yellow is where I just want the red. But I don't think it's going to make too much difference anyway because if you have a pinky red and you put yellow to it or orange you get cadmi a cadmium red and obviously not the cadmium red but you get the same color you get a cold red and so never panic what you what you can't do is get the other way around you can't get a pink if you've got a pinky red and you make an orange if you've got a pinky red and you put yellow to it you will get orange if you then take some more pinky red and put orange to it you will get a cadmium red you'll get a cold red and then if you take a cold yellow and put a touch of orange in it you are going to get if you do it very pale you're going to get a cad yellow you're going to get a warm yellow and if you put an extra bit more in you're going to get a gamboge so from two colors you've got at least six or seven straight away So if I put that pinky red into here, I'm going to get the orange, but I'm also going to get a cad red. I might not get a pinky red. But that's not going to bother me because that's what I had at the other side. I had a cad, a cad red. I was, And I want to use the... Um, did I say it was called? Tea Rose Red. And it, Tea Rose Red is quite a kind of a, a dark red. But when I used it, I mean, I haven't actually counted. I did it before. I think there's, I will say there's 10 shades, but I think there's an awfully lot more. I want to keep going until there's no yellow left because that means I'm not wasting any color because I am a tight Yorkshire I think that's a flame behind there actually so I'll do that and then if it's not I've not made a big boo boo right so I haven't got much color left on there at all now Well, I don't normally work like that, Kenny. Kenny says you, you pick one colour and do the whole page. Yeah, I don't normally, but with the Kirby ones, sometimes they're a bit, they're not confusing, but the, the, I explain them like they're, they're a little bit like, um, it's a little bit like Christmas cake. You know, making a Christmas cake isn't that, it's very easy. It's just there's a lot of components, and that's what this is. There's a lot going on. Now this one was fairly simple, it was just roses and again that's why I chose it. But if you look, there, there must be lots and lots of different shades. But this is the darkest red and it's almost like a ready red. But then if you, if you just add water to it, no white, just water, you get the palest of palest of pinks. And so you can, you can play about with that quite a lot. And actually, this has taken a lot, I think it's taken a lot less time than the other one, but it might be just me. Um, but I do tend to do it with this Kirby Roseanne one, um, purely because... Oopsie, and I really don't want to do that. Um... What did I say? I can't remember what I was saying now. Oh, because um, I can't remember what I was saying. Oh my goodness! Oh, I do with it with this because it was the easiest thing to pick out. I looked at this page and thought, oh my goodness, everything's connected to everything else. There's clouds in there. There's there's fluffy clouds, curly clouds. There's curly flames and there's curly. Uh, curly sea spray and curly waves 
what do I do? Oh, no, Jesses are the always cost me money. It's not an evening. It's inspiring. Yeah, but try and do it the tight way. Just buy six colours and make all your others. You have much more fun, and you learn to do your own colours, and then you can have every single supply there is, but you just have six of them. Oh, I don't know if I can get that from you. Yeah, I think. Oh no, I didn't say that one, darling. That's the only one there is. It's horrid. Okay, then, thank you. Um, where am I? So again, I picked, and, and what? So what's the easiest thing? So I thought it's like the flames. You know, there could be flames over here. There could be flames over there, but I'm not sure. So I've left them. I did the same with the other one. I've left them, and if I've missed them out, I can go back and put them in. But if I've coloured them yellow, and it's C, and I want a blue teal C. I'm not really going to do that because it's going to go green on me. So it's always better, I think, to err on the caution, air of caution, on the side of air on the side of caution. If I can speak. Um, again, I nearly made a mistake. That one there, I think that's sea spray. It's a wave. Um, so if they are not physically attached to them, I am not making them into flames. And they tend to be on just one side of the body. But this one is an awkward one, this one, because... Oh, on earth, what is that? I haven't got the whole by mixing set. Oh, what's the whole by mixing set? I've done a mixing video, I've done quite a few, I normally do them, I, I've, I've done quite a few, if you look at colour mixing, there's quite a few, but one of them um, is with printer inks, and that, I get 630 some colours from three printer inks, again, if you don't, you know, do not use your colours for, um, for mixing, if you're playing, Three pounds fifty, did I say there were? Three pounds fifty for three printer inks in little bottles. The only thing is you have to be extremely careful you don't spill them because they're printer inks and they'll never come out. Um, but I bought these cheap these little cheap things and I worked on glass and I made sure there was nobody about for spillage. And I got a little bit out, put the lid back on and I kept them in a tin. So even if they spilt in the tin I still hadn't made a mess. Oh yes, what's well, everybody? We want to know, Jane. What's the mix? The whole by mixing set. Never heard of that. But Holbein's a good name. But you can always tell a good make because it has. I hope it's not got more than six colours in it. Three colours is even better. But but purples and French ultramarine is a bit of a toad to make, I have to say. So six colours. You only need six colours and you can buy the most expensive colours if you've only got six. I do think I got distinction for my colour work. But <laughs> Oh, you got five tubes. Um, that's not that's not going to do you any good, really. It depends what color. You, you do need six, purely because of the French ultramarine. But it depends what colors are in it. I think that might have to be a flame. I think they might have to be flames. I've just decided because what are you doing Alfie honestly does it tell you what colours you have uh, Jane what colours have we got you need French ultramarine 
which is a warm purpley blue I have no idea I think I have a sneaky suspicion that is a cat playing with a box oh no it's not it's Dexter no it isn't it's Alfie Elfie's playing with the box. Um, you need a French ultramarine, so you get your purples. You need your Elysian crimsons for your pinks and your purples. You need cold, um, cerulean blue for your cold, beautiful greens. You need lemon yellow to go with your cerulean blue for your gold bright greens you need a cadmium yellow a warm yellow for your oranges and you need a cadmium red which is a cold red so you can make your gorgeous oranges you need si you need six primaries really um it's not a proper colour mix if it's only got five. You've got to have six. You want a warm and a cold of both. Now you can make them. You can make them. Um, very quickly. You, uh, if you, you can make them. My little blanket because I'm frozen. <laughs> um, I can do it with. I can do it with. I can do it with these. I can do it with these. You see, it doesn't matter what you do it with. Now I, these were in the set, otherwise I wouldn't have bought them. I certainly want to put that one so this is my see they had primary blue and I want cerulean blue so I won't use that blue uh, there's a primary red which I don't really like um, and I wanted the cad red so those two reds they have in there I won't use and they didn't have my yellow so I've got lemon yellow I won't use primary they've got permanent yellow deep um, but it will do. So you need six colours. So you want a pinky warm red, and you want a cadmium red a cold. So this could be a Lizzie crimson, um, magenta, even magenta because you can get away with it. A cad red lemon yellow that should be um, a cad yellow but it's a deep yellow but it's a warm yellow uh, French ultramarine and cerulean blue so the colours closest together are going to make the best secondary colours Well, that's perfect. Yes, that is perfect, except for no white and no black. But yes, perfect. Yeah, magenta, magenta, cyan, and primary yellow, they are printer ink colours. Yeah, they are printer ink colours. These are Winsor and Newton. But what you will find, what you, but you don't need the black and you don't need the white. Is that gouache or is it mixing? Yeah, you don't need the black and you don't need the white. Uh, but perfect. But what you will find is, if you want to make French ultramarine or a purpley, you will struggle a bit, because I did. But you can you can do it, but it's, it's difficult. So what you have is, you have those colours. And they're the perfect colours. They're your printer inks. No, 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 no. It's fine. They're perfect. They are perfect. You might perfect, and they'll probably give you a thing to go with it as well to how to colour mix. No, it is that is that is the mixing colours. Yeah, a c uh, cerulean blue, which is cyan in printer, 
it's a bit colder than that. A lemon yellow is a primary yellow, a very cold yellow. Um, I think they're called, there's primary, don't they? Yes, see, gouache call there's primary yellow. That's a very cold yellow, very cool, very cold. Yeah, they've got, they've got a mixing chart. And you need uh, either, this is primary red. I don't like that one. I like, uh, Elysium Crimson is perfect. Or magenta. And then what you do, I've done this before several times. I wonder if you can see on that. Or do we need a, a black background? Whoopsie. Just drop that one on the floor. Landed on Alfie. Which one did I drop? I dropped the I dropped the yellow one, didn't I? Did it fall on Alfie? Yes. Just bear with me two seconds. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Oh, sorry about that. It's a long way down there today. <laughs> right, so we've got three primary colours. We've got a pinky red, we've got a lemony cold yellow, and we've got a bright cold blue. So we want a cad red. We want a cold red. So what we do is we put lemon yellow and a touch of Elysian Crimson together and we make an orange which is the secondary colour but you make an orange I can, I can do it better and again this is a really good set and you know this is a really good set because it's got the correct colours in it and the only reason I'm doing this is because it's got every colour you need So, we've got lemon yellow, serenium blue, Elysian crimson. So that's that's the three colours. These are your printer colours. Very, very pinky magenta, uh, cerulean blue, sometimes cobalt, but I actually like cerulean because it's colder, and a lemon yellow, a bright, a bright handsome yellow, a bright yellow. So what you need to do is you need to put a touch of Elysian Crimson into some yellow and you make an orange. You need to put a touch of, uh, you can mix lemon yellow with cerulean blue and you've got green. And then you need to mix cerulean blue together and you need to mix Elysian Crimson together to make a purple. Uh, and I haven't actually got a purple, so... Oh, I have. I bought one. I actually bought a purple, but I've never used it in, in 30 years. Just bear with me two seconds.
Sorry about that. Right. Why do people ring me at the wrong moment? So, so we've made we've made our three secondary colours. We've made green, we've made purple, and we've made orange. But we've still got our cold primaries. I had a phone call, I do apologise. <laughs> so, we've got, we've got a, our a, a Olivia, Elysian Crimson, which is um, magenta. We've got Cerulean Blue. So if you're doing this with printer inks, that's cyan, that's magenta, and that's bright yellow. So what we're going to do now, though, but we want some more colours. We want two, two primaries of each colour. So what we do is you have Elysian Crimson and you have a touch of orange to it and you're going to get a cad red. Now it's not the original professional expensive cad red but it, it's it's a cold red. So it looks like, and it, the, there are lots of other names for it, there's um, Spectrum Red, looks a bit red, um, Flame Red, so it's a cold red. It's not a pinky red. It's an orangey red, but it's a it's not a pinky red. That's going to be your cad red. Then what you do is you put a touch of orange into some lemon yellow, and you get a cad yellow. That's a warm yellow. Again, it's not original expensive cad yellow, but it's it's a warm yellow. It's it's it, it's not cold, it's warm. <laughs> That's the best way of explaining it. So then, this is the difficult bit. This is the bit that even I can't do without difficulty. You then take cerulean blue, your cold blue, and you put purple to it, and you make French ultramarine. And I say, I can't make a nice French ultramarine. I can't get a purpley blue. I've not done it yet. Now, I might have a go when I do the colour mixing again, but at, to date, with printer inks, I could not get. Um, and in one of these, and there could be an avalanche. Not that one. So when I first bought, for 99p, I bought three colours in Cotman tubed. Winston Newton Cotman. Oh, bye, Kathy. So I had three colours. I had a Lysian Crimson, I had a Lemon Yellow, and I had Cerulean Blue. And that's my brightest purple. I could not make a beautiful French ultramarine. But all those colours were made from three tubes of paint from the Cotman watercolour series. Um, and I didn't use a lot of colour. I just mixed my own colours. And without causing another avalanche, that's the palette. So there's the cold blue. That's my yucky purple that I made. And that's my yucky... French ultramarine which is nowhere near an ultramarine. I made my cad yellow, I made my orange, I made my cad yellow, that's my original yellow, I made two greens, that's cerulean blue. So out of those three colours I made all the others, the whole colour wheel. So that's my, I made my cad yellow, I made my cad red and I made my cerulean blue, my cold blue. Now I would say that's a cobalt blue. A cobalt blue is still quite cold. And again I had problems with this. This is professional watercolours. And that's why they're sticky. And my purple still pants. Because I can't make a very good purple. So from three colours you can make six. But it's quite strange. You have to make your secondary colours. <laughs> Because you can't, trying to get that to that is difficult. So you, it's easy to make an orange and then put orange with a resin crimson to that. And there 
if you are going to buy the perfect set in anything except for watercolour, so that includes gouache, oils, water-based oils, acrylics um, and gouache, I, you would buy all those colours and white, no black. If you were doing watercolours, no white and no black. But with gouache, you need your white because your white is important in gouache and in your other colours as well. But in watercolour, just by adding water to a colour, you can take it to white. You can get every colour pink in between. Unless you want to work in thick gouache, which is why you need your white. But this is the only colours you need. So the best thing to do is, and I've, I've been playing with these for, she's nearly 30. Is Hattie. She, so for nearly 30 years I've been playing with these Winsor Newton Artisan. And I bought a purple last week. And I've not used it. Uh, the green's already in there and there's an orange. But I normally play with those six colours. Because you get so many better colours. You make you need the French Ultramarine, you need the Cad Red and you need the Cad Yellow. Then you're going to get the brightest greens here because these are the nearest. The nearest they are together, the brightest the primary or the secondary. So the nearest colours together, the brightest orange you're going to get. The nearest pinkiest purple, so the purple is red and the purple is blue, you're going to get the brightest purple. The lemon yellow, the coldest yellow, the coldest blue, you're going to get the brightest green. So if you had Elysian Crimson and lemon yellow, you put those two together, you're going to get orange, but you're not going to get a bright orange, you're going to get a dull orange. If you took the cold red and the cold blue, that will never make a bright purple. You'll get some gorgeous purples, but you'll never get you'll never get the right colour. If you want the brightest, always remember the nearest on the colour wheel. And the pinkiest purple, the pinkiest red is next to purple, and the the purpley blue, that's why it's called that. Now in between, I've done another one in between on my colour wheel. I have another one. We went through this on, on another video a while ago. So I've got a purple red. And I've got a purple blue. So these are tertiaries. This is a, this is a, there's the primary and they're secondary. But then we've got tertiaries. So it's a, it's a, a ready, a, a purpley red isn't, a, isn't purple, it's purpley red, it's between. A purple blue isn't a bright purple, it's near a blue, it's between. A greeny blue, it's not the bright green, it's, it's in between. That's why I put them in triangles. The green, it's not a bright green, it's a yellow green, it's a green yellow, it's in between. And then, of course, if you look at Karen Dash, you've got 40 in between each colour as well. But then you've got your, your two yellows. But then you've got your orange. But you've got your red oranges, your orange reds. And you've got your yellow oranges. So that would be tangerine. That would be gamboge. Gamboge would be here. That's like a tangerine colour. This is gamboge. That's orange. Um, that would be vermilion. Vermilion would be there. Vermilion is colder. It's nearer orange than cad red. That would be cad red. And you can go around your colour wheels and look at your colours and you can, you can find the colours in your colour wheel. But you need the two reds, the two yellows and the two blues. Or, in your case, you've got one of each. But you can make the others. 
So if you look at my, uh, these are printer inks. These are all made from printer inks, all these colours. And I think I said there were 600 and some. Because I'm not going to colour mix with my expensive colours. I'm going to colour mix with my £3 printer inks. Again, they're not going to be as vibrant as, as other things. But it's going to give me an indication of which orange and which blue to put together to get the teals and which orange and blue together to get the browns. So I think it's called colour mixing with printer inks. Uh, that that sends from that starts from the magenta, uh, the bright yellow. I forgot what it's called, and um, cyan or cerulean. Now you can make beautiful other colours from other colours, but to get the brightest. Um, so if you wanted a nice colour and you didn't want to make a purple, because purple again is a funny one. Um, and this, uh, it's always called purple oxidine, isn't it? Oxidine purple, it's in everything. It's Because it's the pigment. The same pigment is in here, is in the purple gouache, is in the purple, it's the same pigment as in... As in here, this is a this is a purple. Um, what's this one called? This one's called cobalt violet. But I'm sure in the Karen Dash there's a purple that comes from this. Um, and again, you know, you don't need thousands of colours. Put the colours where they go. You know, that's a colder purple. Put it there. Um, Again, that's like a gamboge. Put that one there. Uh, that's an orangey red. That one goes there. That's a ready one. That goes there. You could play with this with all your colours once you've got them. A greeny, a greeny blue. That goes there. Because it's not blue, but it's not green. It's a greeny blue. That's a bright green. That goes at the bottom. Um, that's cerulean blue, that probably, if it's me. It's permanent blue. So it's not quite cerulean blue, but it's not a warm blue. It's cold. Um, and then, of course, we've got a dark one, which is behind there. And that's French ultramarine, which goes there. So you can play and look at your colours. This looks like a yellow Hanson. And again, this is why I said this Neo art set of 15 colours is brilliant. It's got a brown and a black in it, and it's got a white in it. But it's got um, yellow ochre. Well, yellow ochre is kind of behind there. And lemon yellow is there because it's the bright, cold yellow. So you've got all your colours here. I'm French ultramarine. So you've got all the colours there. So you can do that with them all. They all fit into this category because they all fit from a colour wheel. It's just some are slightly warmer than others. So this red, it's not my perfect red. It's in between. So it's it's a bit pinkier than I'd like. So I don't like it. That one's almost Windsor red. Is that Windsor red? Flame red is almost the same, but I'd say that's a bit orangier. Uh, lemon yellow's not... Uh, lemon yellow's lemon yellow, so that's the coldest. Um primary red. Primary red isn't as pink as, as Elysian Crimson so it's got to go at that side. So it's not the coldest and the warmest. Did that make sense? What else have we got? Uh, primary blue. Again, it's not the coldest blue so it's got to go there. But you can do that with all your colours. And you can see where they sit. And then you can think right, well I've got a Caran Dash bright pink and I've got a Caran Dash French Oak Marine. If I either scrape these together or scratch them together equal amounts, I'm going to get a purple. I don't have a bright purple in my Caran Dash, but I can make one. Especially with these because they are very well pigmented. If you've got really cheaper stuff, it's not quite as easy. Uh, but if you've got good quality stuff with good quality pigment, and that's why they're expensive, it will work. The same with, I don't have a purple in my gouache, but I can make one. Because I've got French Ultramarine and I've got Elysian Crimson. I haven't got, um, I haven't got an orange. 
but I've got a, I've got a warm yellow and I've got a cold red so I can have the perfect bright orange same with the greens if I haven't got a green but I've got a blue and a yellow I can mix them together Oh, God, take care, darling. Thank you for stopping by. So there's always a way to kind of make things happen. But it's always good fun to do this. You can do it with every colour. You can do it with lots of other things as well. Um, in this set here, which is a fairly cheap set, it's not going to be expensive. And the, the pigments aren't going to be as good. Um, but again, let's have a look. I've got a mauve. I've got a burnt sienna, but let's have a look at the. I've got a cad yellow. There we go, I've got a cad yellow. I've got a vermilion. And again, vermilion isn't the coldest red, but it's not the warmest red, so it'll go there. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Vermilion, I think, is orange here. I think it goes there. Um, cerulean blue. Actually, it might not be a bad set because it's got cerulean blue in it. Um, Elysium crimson. It's got a purple lake in it as well. So it's not a bad set, actually. It's not a bad little set. if uh, Because Cerulean Blue and Elysian Crimson. So it's not a bad set. And that's how I, that's how I look at sets. I look at what colours they are. Um, but normally you will find um, Elysian Crimson, a Cad Red, a Cad Yellow, a lemon yellow, a cerulean blue, and a French ultramarine. And if those colours are in that set, it, there isn't a colour on the planet you cannot make. So you don't have to buy thousands of the same one. So I hope that made a bit of sense with colour. So like the Karen Dash, I keep saying, oh, I'd like the full set. And I keep thinking, well, I don't need the full set because I can make the full set. Um, and that's what I actually was going to do in this series when I do this next week. When I put these Karen Dash back in here, I have printed out um, the colours of Karen Dash. And I'm going to make them. So I might have to scratch a little bit of orange in there, uh, red, to make an orange. I might put that one together. That will make a gamboge. That's almost a gamboge now. Um, if I put those two together, I get vermilion. If I put those two together, I'll probably get um, a cobalt blue. A brighter yellow with a duller orange is, is going to get you a duller red. It's not going to be as pinky. If I do purple with a darker blue, I'll probably get a purple lake, because purple lake is a bit darker. Um, I, I don't know what Karen Dash calls them, but, you know, I'll, I'll use ordinary watercolour terms. Um, the gouache ones are different. I like the traditional old-fashioned names, but, again, when you go to a colour, any colours, you look at them. This one is probably the best. I have to say, I'm impressed with this one. This has got, 40, there's 40 colours, actually not 45, because 5 are reproduced. But there's 40 colours here. And then they, 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 there's the cold yellows, the warm yellows. Um, and when I go through these, I'm going to mix these. These these probably, I'll probably do with the Karen Dash. And then nobody can say I haven't mixed the right colours. So I'm going to mix these colours. But I want people to know you don't have to have the full set. And you can still mix them in here. You can opt, you can mix them or have two together. And know those two go together. I've often mixed two, scratch two together and use them side by side to make, to make another colour. Um, but I think this set here... I hope they bring it back. This 60 set, I would, I would, I would buy the 60 set because these are really fat and chunky, and they're easy for me to use when I've got when I've got poorly hands. The little sticks, I can't really hold too much, but I can use these because they're chunky. 
So I hope that made a little bit of sense about colour. So again, depending on what you want to do. I don't think I'll ever use that, but I know I've, I've got to use it now, I've bought it. Because <laughs> I'm a tight Yorkshire lass, and I'll be cross with myself. Um, but I had a moment when I thought, oh, no, I'm going to buy it, I'm going to buy it, and I did. And then since I bought it, I kept thinking, well, aren't you a fool? You've not used it in 40 years of colouring. Why are you going to buy it now? <laughs> but some paints are easier to mix than others. Um, in here, you could mix these together. You could optically mix these together. They don't make them anymore. They are Neo Art. I had a big box, but I've got rid of the big box now. But they're called Neo Art Water Soluble Pastels. I don't think it's going to show through there, is it? And this is the one that I use for water colouring. And, and I've used the blue as well. Where's the, where's the blue gone? I use them all the time for colouring, for sketching. I just use a, a water I just use a brush, not a water brush normally, but a brush. I just use a brush and I sketch. That's the black one. You just sketch with it. Um that's the brown one. You just sketch with it. So that's, it's just so much easier. Um, and I can't use pencils anymore. Um, let me have a look at... Some of these are quite old. That's just scratched. That's Karen Dash and that's just scratched. And then scratch a palette and play with it. Um, I did that quite a long time ago actually. Just trying to find something. So you can always make colours and play about with colours, even if it's a crayon. But they do, they don't make these anymore. And there was one set that, and I didn't press buy, and I've missed it. So they can't find anymore. These are called Neo Art water soluble wax pastels. But they match up perfectly to um, near colour twos, but they don't make them anymore. Yeah, they're near colour twos, but again, you know, how much colour have you got in there compared to a near colour two, which I haven't got handy, have I? I'd much prefer to have. And the other thing is, I can hold this. I can't hold the others. I don't know what I've done with it. I had two that I left out. Oh, I found that. And I found another dip pen. <laughs> oh, I found those. These are pretty. I've got to put those in that box. Uh, and again, oh, look, I can take. I can take this out. I don't know if that's going to... Because my daughter is forever not cleaning them. She uses a dip pen for drawing and she will not clean them. So I can put them in my little... I don't know where they go actually. These are a bit big. I may have to put them in this little pouch. I'll put them in this little pouch safe and then these can go in that box with the calligraphy things that um, I can use yeah I need to play about with that a bit so I've gotten a bit of a rabbit trail there <laughs> didn't we they last enough I've had these um I paid £15 for mine, and I saw a set of 15 for £50, so I've had them a long time. Um, I don't think they're quite as old as the original set that I had a few, uh, quite a few years ago. She's 27 now. 
oh no, it's about 25 years ago when I went across Germany um, and Europe and I had this little tin of fire, uh, 10 my husband bought me. And I still have the originals. They're only tiny and they've all got a little hole in the top. Because, <laughs> I, I, again, I, I use them for that reason. Uh, but I love these and I wish I could get a full set. But it will see me out, but I can't. I can't seem to find any. But I've put them in here because that, that fits into my Midori. So I've got my, my watercolours for sketching. Because um, I, I use them with a brush for, for drawing. So I hope that made sense a bit more about the colours. About colours and colour mixing. But if you really want to try gouache, buy a tube of not this permanent one, buy a tube of zinc white gouache. And what you can do with that is you can add it, you can have some on your palette next to all your watercolours and add a touch to them. Now, the more you add, the whiter obviously your colours are going to be. But if you just add a touch, it will make your colours opaque. So technically, you've made your watercolours into a fake gouache that you can play with and you can use and if you like them you can then buy a set these are not designed for color books these are designed for graphic design to be thick to be opaque um to to, to give flat color so it would use them for this so as a graphic designer you design this you'd paint this this color and then you paint that in gouache and you'd put your black lettering on top and you'd, you'd, you'd paint that in gouache as well and you'd present that flat piece of work in those colours that's how we designed everything by hand all lettering was all done by hand and that means you can um, that's strange is that well it, you can still play with gouache but it's a bit expensive to be mixing with gouache I'm not mixing with mine I'm a tight Yorkshire lass <laughs> I mean I mix these when I mix my colours to, to keep them in the pans uh, but just for doing colour mixing you want a cheap set of watercolours because it's still going to give you the same it's the same colour that you're mixing together to get the same colour. It's just going to be weaker and it's not going to be as strong. But you, yeah, designer gouache is is posh stuff. <laughs> I mean, my daughter won't use it and she's going to uni. She, and I said, no, no, you do need that. You need it for, for college, I think. But it is professional gouache, is designer gouache. Um, but that set I bought for a tenner is perfectly okay. For uh, and there's quite, I don't know what I've done with it actually. Thought, thinking about it, I did an unboxing and I bought some gouache. I've no idea what I did with it. Um, Reeves have a, a, a cheaper one as well. Yep. So I, I mean, by all means, get it. But I would save that for nice projects because I'm not using designer gouache in here. Um, I don't think this this isn't that there, is, there might be an odd colour in there that I've put in but most of this most of this is um, cheap children, children's cheapy yeah if it wasn't expensive it's fine um, and some of the cheaper ones have got those six colours in again that's what I look for I look for the six colours rather than looking for you know I look how much it is, but I also, I don't really look at brands. I look, you know, it, it's cheap, but what colours are in it? Um, and the Reeves one has a good colour range. If it's got cold reds, warm reds, cold blues, warm blues, cold yellows, warm yellows. They all have put black and white in. But, but if you're buying them individually, if you want to buy white, that's fine, but definitely don't buy black. Black is death to colours. I pinched that off somebody and I do apologise. I don't know who it was, but I can't say it better myself. <laughs> so we went on a bit of a rabbit trail there. 
So I hope that explained a little bit more. So I'm going to carry on with these flames. So they seem to be going a, a lot faster. <laughs> a lot faster. I may have to destroy this. Uh, I, I'll probably not use this video because it was a lot of waffle. <laughs> More waffle than normal. So I think that's a flame. Again, I don't really want to go where it's hatching and cross hatching because I want that to be obviously yellow, um, orange, very dark red. But I don't think I need to bother be to worry about it. I think looking at this, it's going to be fine. I think I'm just looking at where this cloud goes goes behind here. Uh, because I think there's going to be an off that red's going to kind of go over anything. It's such a vibrant red. So there seems to be a flame under here. Yes, yeah, so the flames go around here and then they go up there. And then they go around there. Yep, that's about right. And then they come back around here and they st start to go in the head then. Oh yeah, that, that's quite good. Yeah, but again, each to their own. Everybody has to buy what they like, what they've seen. I tend to watch a lot of YouTube videos, not for art projects, but when I was buying the... Uh, which I might have to go back to actually fairly soon um, my drawing tablet I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos I watch a lot of reviews and then I actually if it's something really expensive like that because I'm <laughs> because I'm always worried about spending hubby's money I um, if it came out a while ago I don't normally go for I work out which is best for me and if it's been out a while I look at the last reviews because people can tell you if things last long or not or if it's just a whim or if it's going to break the first time you use it so sometimes that's quite good as well and the same for art, prod, art, art things as well Sometimes you'll want something and you think, oh, but that's got a bad review or that won't do such and such. So, but I have watched some people say nasty things about things that I love. And I'm thinking, well, they're not using it right. If you're not using it right, you can't very well say it's rubbish. Um, I very rarely say anything is rubbish because nine times out of ten it isn't. It's me using it wrong. And I am just one person. Somebody else might use it and it's, it works perfectly for them. I just find sometimes when everybody wants hundreds of pounds worth of colours that, you, that are going to wear out or you use them once, it's that tight Yorkshire last thing comes in and I need value for money. And I need it to last. So that's my rant for the day. <laughs> that's my rant for the day. So it's definitely quicker, is this? I've got my big head in the way, sorry. I think that's a flame. And if you're very careful, you can get quite a good point on there. I'll zoom in a bit and then you can see a bit better. I must have zoomed out a bit much. 
But I won't keep this recording because it's pants. <laughs> tend to lose a lot of my recordings. I could just do with turning that up. Yeah, well pastel pencils are pastels. The only reason pastel pencils were invented is because people didn't want to get their hands dirty. Um, but for the disabled, pastels, and pastels are, again, you can make a watercolour out of them. The ones I found chalky are the, and I can't bear to put them with any of the others. Um, and again, the, the word chalky are the original ones. But obviously, artists wanted them to be more chalky. Because normally manufacturers don't change anything unless you know, there's a demand for it. Now, is that... Oh, I thought... Oh, they're the horns, aren't they? Yeah, so... I think... I think that's a flame. So again, this is a lot quicker. And I picked up the wrong, the, the bigger brush the other day and it didn't like it as much, I have to say. So I think that's one under there. And then that's that's one. So I think we've nearly got them all now. Um, the, the, the original Derwent pastel pencils are as soft as soft pastels, but they're very soft. And so I think Derwent were asked to make them kind of harder. So the 72 Derwent pastels you buy now are, I would say, nearly as hard as hard pastels so they're not as powdery but they're definitely not chalky the only chalky ones that I've seen and I, again I can't bear to use them if I have to give them to my daughter are the Conti ones even when you pick them up you can feel the chalky um, so again, that's something else that, and I thought, oh, I'll put all my pastels together. And I thought, no, I won't. <laughs> my pastel pencils, they will not be going in my pastel because I can't bear to use them. Uh, but mainly because my hands are sore as well. The pastels I've got, you just glide them across the page and the, and the, the pastel just falls off. Um, and that's why I bought them, so they were because they were so easy. And again, I, I like these because these are so easy now. Can't imagine. Has anybody else got these? I can't imagine what the bottles are like. I bet they're just amazing to play to play with. I thought about doing my butterflies in my sketchbook, my giant sketchbook, with those vibrant colours. They'd look amazing. I could use these, but I'd have to work small. And my idea was to work big. <laughs> my idea was to work big. So. 
So thanks for stopping by guys. Hope everybody's okay. I didn't realise it was that time. So our little dragon has got his yellow. He's got his yellow. So that was fairly quick. All that yellow. All his flames. So thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching.